So let's take a quick look here at cloud init. And this is something that's not gonna be on your exam, but it's something you absolutely should know and need to know because it's an industry standard and it's just something that uh, you might, like if I didn't show it to you, no one's gonna show it to you. So let's just get to it. And so cloud init is this multi-distribution method for cross-platform cloud instance initialization. And it's supported across all major uh, public cl uh, cloud providers. So. Azure AWS GCP, uh, uh, provisioning systems for private cloud infrastructure, um, and bare metal installations. So what is cloud instance initialization? Well, this is the process of uh, preparing an instance with configuration data for the operating system and the runtime environment. And so uh, the idea is that you're gonna have cloud instances that are initialized from a disk image and instance data, right? So the image is whatever the, the, the VM image is, but you're gonna have data such as metadata, user data, uh, and vendor data, and I'm not gonna get into all the datas. I just want you to know the one, which is the one you'll be working with is user data. Um, and so user data is a script that you want to run when an instance first boots. Uh, and so um, if you've ever used AWS and you launch an instance, you'll see a box uh, in the, the wizard that says user data, and that's what this is. Uh, in Azure, I don't think they make it as clear. I don't think they call it user data, but if you're pragmatically doing it with um, ARM templates, when you're doing infrastructure as code, uh, that is what you're doing. You're using cloud init underneath. And I just wanted to make that association to you. So when you see that word user data, you think cloud init. Uh, and so cloud init really only works with uh, Linux distributions. So um, it should work with all the Linux distributions on um, uh, Azure. I'm pretty sure it's not being used for Windows machines, but there you go.